Hi. On today's video, I want to discuss what I do for gear organization. Uh, for many years, I uh, just used a few large bins. One large bin for my day hiking gear and a couple more for my backpacking gear. And everything got jumbled together and things got lost. And, you know, and so I just had to make do. But uh, recently, I watched a few videos and I was inspired to redo my gear organization and make it... Uh, more useful for me I want to show you what I'm doing and, and uh, one for you can see what I'm what I'm doing and two maybe it'll inspire somebody else so okay this is uh, part of my gear storage now I want you to know in case you can't tell this is a corner of my basement uh, <clears throat> so I've got uh, shelves there over on the right where you can see that's my non backpacking stuff and uh, so as I'm showing you part of my uh, gear storage. So I've got a bunch of shelves with bins. And they go all the way up to the ceiling <laughs> on this side here. And I've got, um, I do have a little bit of space right here where I've, I can put more stuff. I guess you can see my bear canister. Uh, so I've got a bin with stuff sacks and sleeping pads. And then I've got, you know, this bin here with my chemicals like uh, alcohol and bug spray and so forth and then you know I've got here my scales I've got the old scale the white one in the back and the digital one here in the front and then cook gear and so forth uh, I've got the uh, uh, hammocks and pillows so like for example these bins some of them got more than one thing because it uh, there's not enough of any particular thing to fill up the bin so and again tarps and ponchos and then I've got a food bin and then uh, clothes and hats for example uh, so I've got you know each each this category and then uh, if you saw the water containers um, and up here was the tents and uh, and so forth um, so that's that's one section I said I, again there's Lots of stuff in there. Some of it's more appropriate for day hiking, some more appropriate for backpacking. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, over here, I've got uh, hanging up uh, my sleeping quilt and sleeping bags and under quilt. Uh, so they're all hanging up and they're all, you know, so they're to keep their loft. You know, if, you, if you store your uh, sleeping bags and quilts <coughs> in... Uh, in a stuff sack, they will, uh, they'll get compressed and they won't work as well when you want them to. So, and before I forget, uh, this is my luggage scale here on the top right here, which I can use to uh, weigh my pack after I've loaded it up to get a you know better idea of my base weight. So that's one side. Now the other side, I've got a, uh, I've got a. Um, basically a, a kind of a closet rack where I've got on here I'm hanging up uh, my jackets, rain jackets, down uh, down jackets, so forth and I'm hanging up uh, there and out here various packs. I've got uh, day packs and various backpacks and I hang up my trekking poles and then on the shelves on the top I've got uh, you know my water treatment because I've got different kinds of water treatment uh, <clears throat> devices, some of my accessories, which is kind of a catch-all, and then there's hygiene. So, for example, go backpacking, I need you know toothpaste and soap and those kinds of things that are in there. And then down here, I've got uh, first aid, and then my electronic stuff in the other bin. And then down here, I've got uh, you know there's not there's there are multiple things in these bins. So on the left is the, my knives and multi tools. I've got some rope and fire starters. Because none of those by themselves would warrant a single bin. And then on the right I've got uh, some lights and uh, like flashlights and so forth and some repair items. And then I do have some uh, shoes and, and boots down here. And uh, so anyway, so this is, uh, so, so the last part here uh, I'll show you. So here I've got my checklists. I've got one for my backpacking gear and then another one for my day hiking gear. Uh, they're laminated. I can use my uh, dry erase marker. So I can go on and look at the checklist, go to my 
see what the item is, go to the bin, take that item out, check it off, and then just work th work through. And I've got for the backpack and stuff. I've got a couple, uh, three pages actually of stuff. Um, so that lets me, uh, you know, try to keep things organized because that's one of the issues. Uh, I tried to deal with that when I was using one full bin. I'd have a bin with my latest uh, amount of gear that I would want to use, and then everything else was kind of shoved to the side in other bins. Uh, this lets me make a choice on each trip if I want to uh, and, and go through that. And so let me mention is uh, when I was doing all this reorganization, I found stuff that I hadn't seen in years, <laughs> and uh, that let me uh, you know, deal with that. So anyway, um, so again, I'll let you take one more look. Never mind the other stuff. <laughs> uh, like most people's basements, I got a lot of junk. Uh, anyway, so I've got uh, one full rack of uh, uh, shelves here, and then this rack over here of stuff. So it's not, it doesn't take up a lot of room, uh, fortunately. And this includes stuff I've collected over the years, so it's not uh, not too bad. Um, yes, in case, you, in case you missed it, I'm sharing this space with the water heater. Uh, okay, so I hope you... Uh, Got something out of this.